So very warm greetings to everybody at the Alliance for Bikunis on this very special International Bikuni Day and thank you for inviting me to participate. My name is Venerable Chanda and I've been a Buddhist nun for 18 years, including 11 years as a bhikkhuni. I began my training with meditation masters in Myanmar and Thailand before moving to Australia as a disciple of Ajahn Brahm. Together with the support of an international community, Ajahn Brahm and I worked to develop Anukampa Grove Bhikkhuni Monastery near Oxford in England, which is the first of its kind in the UK. The monastery opened in March 2024 and is where I currently reside. So you asked, what does a bhikkhu, being a bhikkhuni mean to me? So it means a life of renunciation, meditation and selfless service aimed at ending all suffering and experiencing the absolute peace of Nibbana. I see it as a life of unbecoming. We're not really becoming anything or being anything at all, but rather learning to relinquish limiting views of me and mine so our hearts can open to others with genuine compassion and find ways to respond and alleviate the suffering we encounter in ourselves and in the world. It's a privilege and a precious opportunity to train in higher virtue, in harmlessness, simplicity, contentment, and restraint. The Buddha formed and passed down the Bhikkhuni Vinaya as a powerful vehicle for liberation and for the benefit of future generations like us. It's the blessing of spiritual friendship. It means entering a global monastic community that's one of the oldest democracies in the world, an equitable model that fosters mindfulness, transparency, forgiveness and mutual respect. It's a challenge as well, because whilst the above are ideals, it's not always possible to find such community. A bikini in the modern day is inevitably part of a pioneering movement to revive the bikini sangha, and this sometimes means finding oneself alone with very limited access to the resources and teachings necessary to survive in robes. At times, the discriminatory attitudes towards bikunis that I've encountered have been a challenge to my faith in the Sangha as an institution, as in today. An opportunity, it's an opportunity if we're fortunate enough to develop more inclusive Sanghas to reach other marginalized communities and empower women as teachers and leaders. It brings me tremendous satisfaction, meaning and joy when a young man tells me that our work helps redeem Buddhism or when a trans woman uses her pronouns for the first time while staying with us because she feels safe enough to do so or when women coming to our monastery get teary-eyed saying they never knew it was possible for them, too, to take the full ordination. So a couple of personal experiences that highlight my journey as a bhikkhuni, and I'll be brief. So in 2014, it was the powerful ordination procedure itself, finally having the opportunity to enter the Buddha's Sangha, after seeking such an opportunity for nearly two decades, was deeply moving and roused greater energy in me for the aim of the holy life, Nibbana. And secondly, in 2024, the serendipitous coming together of nine years' service as spiritual director of our charity, Anukampa Bhikkhuni Project, and the outpouring of support from local and international community that led to securing our beautiful Anukampa Grove Monastery. Conducive conditions are essential for the Bikini Sangha to survive and to grow, and I'm profoundly grateful to everyone who helps create them, including, of course, the Alliance for Bikinis, who support us so much, support Bikinis around the world. So lastly, a little message to the community. A heart full of metta and gratitude is a happy heart. If you have the opportunity to serve a noble cause, try to take it, even if it seems difficult. Focus less on the goal and more on pouring all your love into every small step. Ajahn Brahm once said to me, it's easy to do bad things. Really good things are hard to do. At the end of our lives, we won't remember moments of fleeting sense pleasure. The extent to which we were able to give and let go will be what matters. 
So I think there's going to be a link to our Facebook page, which is Anukampa Bikuni Project. And I would just like to end by thanking everybody once again, thanking the Alliance for Bikunis and all our Bikuni sisters around the world, as well as the Bikus who support us. So, and also, of course, the lay community, without whom there's really no meaning to what we do. It's a reciprocal relationship that is hopefully mutually beneficial. So thank you very much. Take care, everybody, and goodbye.